All righty. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Words of Pearls. My name is Florencia Changajita, and you know me as Flo Changajita on my YouTube channel. If this message is applicable to your life or your friend's life or someone's, someone you know, then you can go to my YouTube channel if they're not on Facebook and share. If they're on Facebook, you can share from there. But if they're not on this platform, then you can always go to my YouTube channel and upload the message and send it to them or just share the message from there. I'll upload it to YouTube. So good evening once again. Um, how, how has your week been for you. You know, I know many of us have had a really trying week, self-included. You know, there have been some challenges, but God, I can give praise, glory, and honor that he has brought us safely through. Um, you know, so many times uh, I, you know, when you think back to your childhood, have you ever thought back to your childhood and you have fond memories of your childhood? Do you remember being carried in the arms of, you know, a family member or a loved one, or, you know, as, a, as, as an older child or a teenager being carried on the back of your, you know, we call it a jockey ride. If you, you know, growing up in Jamaica, that's what they call it. But, it, you know, when you straggle the back of, you know, someone who can carry you. So you may have been carried on the back of an uncle or dad, you know, a boyfriend or someone, you know, or a cousin, you know, as kids growing up, that would happen, right? Sometimes, you know, the person carries you. Doesn't it feel good if you can think back if, you have, if it has happened? It feels good when someone carries you on their back or if the, you've been carried in, in their arms or you've been carried on the shoulders, right? Of your, your parent, your mom, your dad, you know, when you were younger, that's, uh, there were times when truthfully for me, it felt a little scary, but just, I was comforted in knowing that the, who was carrying me wouldn't let me fall, right? So there you go. That that was very comforting to know. And as we become adults, you know, sometimes we have friends and loved ones or, you know, people within our circles, uh, our sphere, you know, will say, hey, I'll carry you. I have you. I've got your back. I'm there for you. And it's rather comforting to know that, that whatever it is you're going through, that you have uh, a person or persons there to help you along. And, you know, they've got your back in that no matter what it is, you may sometimes need financial support or you may just need a physical support. Sometimes you need a person to be there with you, right? Like sometimes you're going through, through like, have you ever accompanied a friend to the, to the doctor or to, to a psychologist or, you know, accompanied them somewhere, just your physical being there for them was comfort enough for them to either receive whatever news they have to receive or just to maybe do a procedure or just to be there with them as they go through, um, even have doctor's appointment because for some people, even going to the doctor is just simple going to the doctors or maybe it's going to court, right? or, you know, whatever it is, but sometimes you just want a physical person there with you, someone you know, someone who you trust to be with you. And, you know, you're comforted, your pressure is down, the stress level goes down when that happens. So, you know, we're talking, I'm talking about being carried in life, right? So there are various forms of being carry, carried. Uh, and the title of this message is, I Will Carry You. And um, I'm talking about God. So I was reading the scripture and uh, it reads, I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 46, reading verse four. I'm reading in the New Living Translation. And it reads, I will be your God throughout your lifetime, like your entire earthly life, right? Until your hair is white with age. I made you. And I will care for you, right? <laughs> if 
I think a lot of folks who are born to West Indian parents have probably heard many have heard the saying, I made you, I brought, I gave you life, I will take you out, right? That's when their kids are misbehaving or if their kids there threaten to misbehave, right? But God says quite the opposite. He says, I made you and I will care for you. And it's not that parents don't care for their children. Your parents really not, especially the ones who tell you that they're really not going to kill you. It's just a threat to say, hey, do right. I gave birth to you. Therefore, I'm responsible for you. And so, you know, and then continue reading. He says, I will carry you along and save you. So our creator God, our heavenly father God, he made us and he will care for us. He does care for us. He takes care of us daily. There are times in, 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 in your life, you may have favor that you never expected, like unexpected favor. You may be, you need a parking spot, you need information, um, and, and it, it kind of sort of just drops in your lap. You may need a job, you may, something you need, and it kind of, it just feels like it was placed within your grasp or just placed on your lap or placed on that silver platter for you. Well, that's the favor of God. That's God taking care of you. That's your heavenly father. And he says, I will carry you and save you. So you can pretty much think of him carrying you in his arms like you were carried as a baby. And sometimes it's not even the swaddling carry, but it's the carry where the child is upright, or it's the carrying on the back, or the carrying on the shoulders. And I, I like the the shoulder being carried on the shoulder, because also you get to your, your vantage, your view is, is a lot different where you see things from above. And, you know, if you're a child who's afraid of a dog, if you're walking next to your parent, of course, you're going to have fear. But if your parent lifts you up, if you're if you're seated on your parents shoulder you don't even pay attention to the dog seriously you see the dog but it's no of no concern to you because you're being carried on the shoulders of your parents pretty much um similarly i should say um you know that as we go through life as adults we have a lot of adult uh, concerns right concern about ourselves our children our health our spouses for those who are married our jobs and the various things that come along with that insurances homes uh, uh mortgages rent or if it's rental right um lights gas uh, if medication needs to be, if you have parents uh, for elder care and and the list goes on and on and on uh, daily, there are concerns, right? However, we have to, God wants to remind us that no matter what it is you're going through, no matter what age you are, to be cognizant that he who created you will and is carrying you along, whether you're in school, elementary school, junior high, high school, college, you're doing grad school, you're, you're in law school, you're in medical school, you know, no matter where you are in life, on the job, as you travel at home, you know, you may be an older person and you know you have concerns right or you may be you know just an adult or you're in a young adult fearing adulthood there's no need to fear uh god is carrying you through uh there are uh those who he will place in your path with the right information of what you should do you know and so he really really truly does carry us and the thing is, he carries us from the time we were born all the way through as for as long as our life, our lives last on earth, right? And into the air after. Well, there is nothing to worry about there, right? But while we're here on earth, we do have earthly concerns and um, our concerns concern him. He said he'll perfect the things that concerns us. That means whatever is concerning to us 
he'll take care of, right? As long as we give it to him. But if we're going to stress over it and try to, and it doesn't mean not to have plans in place. It doesn't mean not to be a prepared person. No, matter of fact, he helps us to be prepared for the things that we need to do. I always believe that God prepares us even for the unexpected things he does prepare us. He gives us heads up, you know, on what's about to happen. And so we are always prepared. So, um, or we should be, he helps us to be. So he really does carry us. So I just want to encourage someone tonight. I don't know who, just to rem remember or, or to know that you're not alone. You don't have to worry about the things that you're going through that you, there's no one there to help you because you do have a heavenly abide. You do have a creator God who, um, once you give your life to him, he becomes your heavenly father. And you do have a creator God. Um, he says he allows the rain to fall on the just and the unjust, right? So the sun to shine upon all of us as well. And so once you call out to him, he'll answer. And how much more when you're his child? You are his creation, but all of us are his creation. So if you don't know him, why don't you get to know him through his son, Christ Jesus? All righty. So anyway, go about having yourself a wonderful night, knowing that there's no need to stress over anything. You can have a, a good night's sleep if you're going to sleep. Or uh, today is very cold if you're in New York. So you might want to snuggle up and cuddle up and read a book or watch a, you know, watch a movie. Or I would say, how about reading the Bible? Just get a Bible. Google the Bible app or go on your, your laptop and just spend a few minutes and read a word or even the same scripture. It's found in Isaiah chapter 46 and verse four and just meditate on it for a little bit. Doesn't mean that you can't still go watch your movie. It doesn't mean you can't go out to dinner or you can't snuggle up and still stay at home and do whatever it is you're planned on doing. It just means that you'll have peace once whatever activity, playing games or whatever activity you'll partake in, right? So once that activity is over, you can have peace and you can go to your bed and you can rest. Rest and wake up knowing that you will have an answer if there's something concerning or outstanding. And in some cases, you know, you'll realize that the matter has been resolved for you. So have yourself a wonderful weekend. Have yourself a great night. Know that God I do love you guys and God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They love us so much more than any of us could ever love each other. And don't we know some great loves, guys? So come on, won't you take some time out and just think about what I've said. And as I said, if this is applicable to anyone you think you know, or you, you know, if you think it's applicable to anyone you know, then why don't you share Okay, share, you can share from this platform. But as I said, if they are not on Facebook, I'll upload it to my YouTube page and you can share from there. So rest well, your problem has been resolved. Good night.